Hello YouTube, it's uh, 8.53 Saturday night, November 20th. Um, oh, last video I did got cut off and um, I, was, I was walking dunes and do some karaoke. Had a good night doing karaoke, all things considered. And, and there's a lot to be considered with uh, last night's karaoke. And, uh, and I'll probably get to that in this walk. Um, shooting video on the iPhone, so um, yeah, it's going to be dark. You're not going to see very well, but I've just been having so much trouble. Uh, even though I feel the night footage that I do uh, looks better on the uh, on the Note 5, it does seem to capture video better uh, when I'm walking in the dark. Um, I've just been having a lot of uh, issues with trying to get those videos over to... Uh, over to my iPhone to upload them or or to my um, interestingly enough my desktop that I use for hosting karaoke um, that one is also logged into this YouTube account I can upload from there um, and of course the obvious is well you know why don't I just log into YouTube from the uh, uh, from you know from from the uh, from the the Galaxy Note 5 and and in theory, that would be a great idea, but I'm just, I, I've, uh, <laughs> I've forgotten the password to this Google account, and I'm just really gun-shy to try password recovery on it. Um, um, right now, like this, this iPhone, even though it doesn't have service, is uh, uh, the mobile device that I use by far the most. Um, and I honestly, I never thought I would be this, uh, I've never been an Apple, you know, fanboy other than when I was a, a little kid. I loved, uh, I absolutely adored Apple two E's, um, wanted one so bad. Um, and one of my best friends when I was in high school got an Apple two C and, uh, as much as I didn't didn't like the concept of the Apple II C when it came out. I really enjoyed messing with this Apple II C and wanted one of those too. And uh, eventually, by the uh, by the early 2000s when I was married, uh, I managed to score an Apple II C and also an Apple II GS. <laughs> Talk about too little, too late. I mean, I played with both devices and I enjoyed them, but you know, by by 2002, both of those devices were obsolete curiosities at best. Although I really did enjoy using uh, Electronic Arts Music Construction Kit on my uh, Apple II GS. That was, that, was, that was still fun for what it was and, and every bit as enjoyable in 2003 as it was in the late 80s. But I digress. That's not what I was going to talk about. Um, but, but yeah, just um, I've, I've had a few other Apple devices over the years. Um, one of them I did actually really enjoy. I had a uh, uh, low-end early Mac Performa um, in my kitchen when I was married, and that was an obsolete computer then. But uh, my friend Corey had um, helped me set that thing up, and I think he's still storing an image of the freaking system somewhere for me. Uh, should I ever want to repeat that experiment again? But. Uh, um, yeah, it was a horribly obsolete computer at the time, as I recall. It was a model from the early 90s. And in uh, 2002, 2003, I had that machine in daily use, and I used it heavily um, in, my, in my kitchen. And that was actually one of my more entertaining um, instances of me using an obsolete piece of tech and incorporating it into my daily life. Um, I had a... Uh, the time I had an, it's, God, I, actually I've owned quite a few Apple devices I've enjoyed now that I'm sitting there thinking about it. Um, I had a, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, an, uh, um, I had an uh, Apple Quick Take um, digital camera. In fact, Corey and I both had those. Uh, I went into a electronic recycling kind of place, and and I saw them, and I recognized what they were, and I bought them both, and 
and gave him one just because it was like such a such a novelty. Um, and for those unfamiliar with the uh, Apple Quick Take, it's the first commercially released digital camera. Uh, you know, by today's standards, it's a laughable joke. And, and at the time that we got them, which was, I want to say 2002, um, 2001, somewhere in there, also a laughable joke. But as we each owned older, older Macintoshes, which were um, compatible with them, and he was able to find the software for it, um, even though the uh, resolution and limitations of the camera were pretty laughable by that time um they were surprisingly very usable cameras and um I, I know Corey used his quite a bit uh but i don't think he used his as extensively as i used mine uh at the time i had uh my my main source of income um even though i was still a cab driver living in tucson uh, with my wife um my main source of income was uh running my online stores um allison was just a baby at the time and i was uh, i was i was pretty much the primary stay-at-home parent um and and not, not that daniela was was not not stepping up to the plate as mom or anything it, it, completely the the opposite of that i don't want to want to disparage you know her and make it look like i was doing it because she wasn't um so, uh, just chilling. Um, so anyway, she was, uh, she was, um, uh, no, she, at the time she had a really, really good job and it was really beneficial to us as a family. And at the time I very much, you know, looked at us as a family and, um, what I was doing as a cab driver was still pretty profitable on the, you know, roughly two to three days a week that I did it. And, uh, my online sales were, um, they've, they've never been better than that. I mean, I was paying, paying the bulk of the bills on a, uh, on a three bedroom house and, and the expenses for a brand new car. Um, off the, you know, the, the, the bulk of that was being paid for by my online sales of used media and, and other, other, other stuff, mostly used media, mostly CDs actually, which is funny now considering how little CDs sell for, but, um, and honestly, I think I sold more cassettes than vinyl back then, but anyway, um, um, the, uh, Anyway, sorry, it's brain freeze. Uh, um, yeah, so so Daniela's job was, you know, she worked worked five to six days a week. Generally speaking, five days a week. It was it was kind of an office hours kind of job, like you know, eight eight, eight to five kind of thing. Um, but it provided uh, it was it was a decent salary until she lost it. But the most important thing was it provided. Uh, full insurance benefits for us as a family because obviously freelancing, selling stuff on the internet and uh, being an independent contractor has zero uh, health insurance benefits and if I was actually having to pay for health insurance for us, that money wouldn't have gone very far. The, the money that was, you know, I was making from those businesses to, to pay my bills, so um, pay our bills, our family bills. So anyway, um, anyway, back so back to random <laughs> Apple devices. Uh, the uh, um, I didn't own any other kind of digital camera at that time. Digital cameras were a pretty pricey thing, and and um, not a common feature on phones yet. Uh, and, and phones that had cameras were not something that you could really easily interface to your computer yet. Um, I know it's kind of hard to think of that nowadays with you know the smartphone being able to do damn near everything. But back in uh, Back in 2002, tech was a whole, you know, the tech landscape was a whole nother thing. And a lot of things were very expensive. And, and you know, the whole reason I was able to handle all my bills is because I crazy cut corners on tech. I spent very little on tech for an apart, for a, for a house. I had a house, for a house that was just full of tech. My, my house was full of old tech being just used to the, you know, its fullest potential. 
and and one of the devices that I absolutely was using to just shockingly every day was uh, my Apple Quick Take camera. You know, from from the I believe it was from the mid mid '90s, and I had it on this Mac Performa from the early '90s, and I would use it to take pictures of all the products that I was selling on uh, on GEMM.com and also on eBay, and while it it you know it's it, you didn't measure its images in megapixels i i forget what the what the image resolution was i want to say it was 800 by 600 but don't quote me on that but it was a pretty damn low resolution but for computer browsers in um you know for for, for web browsers that were being used in 2002 and, and the the resolution of image the low resolution image that you would upload with a, a picture on eBay or GEMM, it was absolutely the perfect perfect size. Actually, it was a little higher resolution than I needed, and I had the uh, I had that little Mac Performer set up. I was able to, to dock dock the dock the Quick Take there, take all those images on it. It had an old version of um, Adobe Photoshop on it that I could um, that I could. Um, export those photos onto and, and edit those photos and then I actually had a uh, SCSI drive attached external hard drive which wasn't very big but you know because it was something old that I picked up at a recycling place and, and I was able to use that to store all my images that I was using for uh, well all my images actually but primarily images I was using for my online store and um, and then I had I actually had um, Corey had found me some software that emulated um, Windows NT networking on that old Mac, and I had it on my my home network, which was configured like it's all a wired network, no Wi-Fi back then, uh, which is all configured as a as a Windows NT network, even though I was running mostly Win Windows 9X computers, and um, it was it was pretty freaking awesome. Like I. I had, you know, computer share drives on computers, so I had this whole uh, external SCSI drive shared up over my network. So I would, I would, I would download the pictures, I would edit them on that old Mac in my kitchen. I had a desk for it, and then once the images were done, I would do all my listing. And I, granted, I could do listing. I did have a web browser on the computer. I, I could do listing. I had the potential for doing listing on the uh, on the Mac, but I. I just found using the using the the sites I was selling on, and we're doing this again, bastards. You know, I I, I actually ate inside at the Del Taco. Uh, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, and it was such a great experience. And I thought they were done with this lobby. Is hang on, let me leave the sign again. I don't even think they got the grammar right on the goddamn sign. Lobby is close. It doesn't say closed. It says lobby is close. It's so close. But with the door locked, it's so far away. Yeah, lobby is close, but inaccessible. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, fucking Del Taco. Man, I had such a great Del Taco experience the other day. And went in, and the lobby was open, and got my food, and now I'm... I've already already dealt with that drive through not being served in that drive through I don't feel up to that drama today. Ah, uh, thought that might be a thought that might be a problem. It's all right. Uh, the uh, twenty-four hour subway doesn't have a drive-through, so their lobby is always open. I'm kind of kind of craving a foot-long tuna sub right now, so I'm gonna head that way. And it's barely in my budget, so probably shouldn't be spending that much money, all things considered, right now. But I just don't give a fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna have me a sandwich. Uh, um. Anyways, like, oh, so anyway, I was talking about that, my, my Apple guy yeah, was just, you know, I went into this trying to explain what was going on with my smartphones and stuff and, and talking about how this, this iPhone that I'm shooting video on, it's just my favorite Apple device and the only Apple device I've ever really liked. But now that I'm thinking about different Apple devices I've owned in my life, I don't know, it's, it's debatable with that uh, little Mac Performa uh, paired with my 
Quick Take are my favorite Apple devices. I mean, honestly, it's 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 really no comparison. I mean, I use this 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 device way more than I use those, but I did use those a lot. Um, and yeah, I would I would put all my images, I would I would edit all my images on that computer. And while I could have potentially used that computer to list products, uh, the browsers that it was running. Um, and I think it was running, I'm trying to remember what browser I had installed on there. I had two, two browsers installed, memory served. But the one I used most was an older version of Internet Explorer. And uh, what the hell is going on here? Sorry, I always like to kind of capture action as it happens. And we have a Phoenix police officer pulling over a bus. Something you don't see every day. I wonder if it's a disturbance. It's probably some guy <laughs> refusing to get off because he doesn't have a mask. Oh, no, who knows? Who knows? Maybe PD followed somebody that did some kind of crime onto that bus. God, I kind of want to walk over there and film it, but it, it's none of my business. And I also want to get my damn sandwich because I'm hungry. And I want to keep talking about my old Mac Reforma because I haven't reminisced about that in a long time. Um, so... Yeah, it, it, the, the browser that I used on that thing, for the most part, was an old version of Internet Explorer, and um, which and it had a really low screen resolution, the computer itself. Uh, I forget what it was, but it was certainly low by that time period, and and um, it, it would it would run eBay, it would run Half.com, it would run Amazon.com, but it just didn't run those sites very well. Uh, I, I used that web browser. Almost exclusively for uh, for Hotmail. <laughs> like when I had friends came over, and that was Hotmail was like really popular back in '03, uh, and that was where most of my friends got their email. So I, I didn't really want my friends getting on my Windows computers because I mean, I ran my business, I was on my Windows computer. So it was funny when I, I, had, I had lots of nerdy friends. They want to check their email. It's like, oh, you can just go check it in the Mac in the kitchen. And they walk in. And it's like, what the fuck do I do with this? This archaic thing. I'm like, oh, just. Uh, Double click the Internet Explorer icon and uh, it, it should go right to Hotmail. You're checking your Hotmail, right? I'm like, yeah. And, and friends were shocked that it worked as well as it did on Hotmail. But yeah, other websites, not so great on that. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I, I did edit my images on that. Um, I didn't even have imaging ed image editing software, as I recall, on my Windows machines. So I, I did all that there, get my pictures just perfect for my websites. And then I would go on to my, uh, when I was listing product, that was a browsable drive over the network. And I just attached my images to the websites from that location. And uh, that was pretty awesome. So yeah, come to think of it, I did uh, actually have an Apple device that used it much before this. But certainly I've, I've never really considered myself to be a fan of iPhone. In fact, for the longest time, I always kind of uh, was a naysayer of people that were like, oh, i got to get a new iPhone. It's like, yeah, you're wasting money on an iPhone. You can get a, uh, an Android that can do pretty much everything the iPhone does for much, much less money. Why are you pissing money away on an iPhone? <sighs> the bus is leaving and the cop is still there. Oh, that's interesting. Now I kind of wish I walked over and filmed what was going down. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, this is my main device these days. And... and um, and, and does it do anything that any other smartphones do? Not, not really. Honestly, I just, I, I, I went into this just kind of on a whim. Um, the the ownership of uh, iPhone 6s Plus, and mind you, that was two iPhone 6s Pluses ago. I've gone through this is my third one. Um, uh, my friend Jeff, who at the time had an uh, had a cell phone store, he. Uh, um, I was, my primary income at that time was juicing for lime. And um, juicing for lime involved a whole lot of running in and out of my car, pulling my phone in and out of my pocket, uh, plugging it and unplugging it a lot in my car, and scanning scooters. And um, as you've seen in this blog, I'm sure more than once, I, uh, <laughs> I'm not the most coordinated person, and I regularly drop my phone. Um, yeah, so of course I regularly would drop my phone, um, 
scanning uh, out using scooters and every every so often I'd shatter my screen inevitably you drop your phone at times you will shatter your screen and I was when I went into juicing I was using a note 5 not the note 5 I've been using recently but a different note 5 which I believe is still in my possession somewhere with a shattered screen it'll boot it's sort of no actually as memory serves it's not usable I think the screen is so bad it can't be used but I went in to replace that screen again and that was always a costly, pretty costly screen to replace. And plus I would always have to wait for uh, Jeff to, to order that screen for me. It was never anything he kept in stock. And one of his, uh, one of, he had employees at the time, one of his employees recommended uh, this iPhone. And I'd never used iPhone before, but he had, he had recommended this iPhone to me. Not this one, but this, this you know, model, the two, two iPhones ago. And he, uh, it's the same model I have, the 6S six, Plus. They had recommended it to me, primarily on the, hey, look, it's it's the larger screen size that you like. Um, and, uh, but it, basically it, it cost me less. It cost me less for the iPhone than what it would have cost me to repair the screen on my Note 5. And um, I would have been probably waiting two or three days um, getting the screen repaired on the Note 5, which means I would have lost two or three days of work, which was considerably more money than what the repair was going to cost. So that was certainly a factor, you know, fi factor in the financial decision as well. And, um, and I, I, at that point, I'd been pretty active. Uh, I, I've been kind of actively, I don't, I don't think I was on Reddit yet. Um, yeah, I was definitely not on Reddit yet because I never used Reddit until I started using the Reddit app on iOS. Um, but I, I had been browsing just as a viewer, not as a not as a redditor, browsing the um, Lime Juicer subreddit and seeing a lot of people talk about how the Lime app in iOS was considerably better than the one for Android. And so I. Uh, I figure, well, you know, all, all those factors pointed to uh, give the iPhone a try, and of course, the the final the final decision on it was that he told me that, hey, you know, try it for a couple of days. Try it for a couple of days. If you don't like it, bring it back. As long as you, as long as you don't damage it between now and then, give you your full full credit full credit on that towards repairing your uh, Note 5 screen. In fact, you can continue to use it until you get your you know 5 screen fixed. And I mean, that was, that was just a, you know, win, 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 win situation. I couldn't, you know, there was just absolutely no reason not to go with the, uh, not to go with the iPhone. And I was, it, there was a bit of a learning curve because, uh, you know, I never used iOS before. Um, but I mean, when, when people say, oh, it's easy to lose, use iOS cause it's a lot easier. To, it's a lot easier. I, I gotta agree with that. Now there's definitely some limitations to iOS, you know, um, that are, you know, it, iOS has definitely got some some limits that Android doesn't have, and, and that's 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 an advantage and a hindrance. Um, like there are certain things that certain file related things that I find I can't do in iOS, and it frustrates me. Um, but on the same token, um, there are certain things on some Android phones that thoroughly annoy me, particularly my the, the way the custom ROM is on my uh, Obama phone and that kind of bullshit isn't even possible with an iPhone so yeah there's, there's definitely advantages but but yeah I mean the learning curve was pretty 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 quick I mean I got the hang of using the iPhone surprisingly quick and 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 as far as the Lime the Lime app yeah the Lime app was so much better I mean I I, I, I noticed that I was making more money almost instantly using it um just because it seemed to uh it just seems like that like the map refresh better and that's before lime had the ability to reserve a scooter so um every time a, a lime would appear available for harvest on the map it was like a mad dash of everybody and it sounds chaotic but i mean that's how lime was back then um every time it appeared it was it was it was kind of like pokemon go it was it was there everybody could see it and it was a mad dash whoever the hell got to it first so um it, it just seemed to me that the uh 
the iOS map was more responsive. Uh, I mean, I don't know for certain, but it, it seemed to me that that people using iOS got the notice of where stuff was a little bit faster and 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 gave an edge. And and maybe that's just in my head, but it sure seemed like that. And, and I noticed as soon as I switched to iOS that I was I was getting to scooters faster, getting more scooters, and and certainly had a lot less occurrences of me rolling up to see another juicer getting a scooter and having to go, well, that sucks, and move on to the next one. And of course there's no point in yelling at that other juicer. I mean, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's just how the game was played then. Um, so, uh, anyway, I forget where I was going with this. I hope this was entertaining for y'all. It's my mind wandered thinking about Apple products and old Apple products and this Apple product. Um, I was going to explain what my issues have been for trying to uh, move my videos over, but right now I'm going to go in Subway and get myself a sandwich. I'm hungry. <laughs>